Hey everyone, Mini T here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy VI. In the last part, we got Edgar, and we got Setzer. In this part, well, we're off to get some wings, but first Setzer needs some equipment. He can't be running around naked now, can he? <laughs> Except apparently he's put on, already put on equipment. How? Or did I put it on? Whatever. He has equipment on. Still needs other equipment on. Um, let's go with some Hermes sandals, and I'm gonna give him an earring, actually. Um, so one handy thing you may want to make sure you have for this upcoming dungeon is amulets, and I don't have any, unfortunately, but, uh... I do have a ribbon, so that's cool. I think you can go with... Let's give him... Where's that other hero's ring? Let's give him, him an earring. Give him a second. Hero's ring. I'm like, oh, where am I in the menu here? And I want to... I want to need to give him an esper, because I can speak well right now, apparently. Um, let's give him Fenrir. That sounds good. I just need to heal. Apparently. Should do that. Luckily, there is an inn right here. Yes. I will be staying the night. Thank you. A little injured. I kind of would like to be fully healed. Alright. Now let's go get her wings. That's where we're almost two minutes in. <coughs> Excuse me. So, also got some new encounters around here. But, let's just fire the faces in. Let's use Flash, I guess. Is that cool? So, didn't kill those, but the flash may do so. Yeah. Cool. Hooray, Kira. Alright. And there's a little bump in the ground here. Indicating exactly where we need to go. So. This is your friend's grave. Yeah, she was really something. Royal could have turned inside out and she never would have even flinched. Could be anything lurking down here, so keep your eyes peeled. Okay, peeling my eyes. Peel. Welcome to Jarrell's tomb. Everything in this dungeon is weak to fire. Everything is weak to me messing up my blitz inputs. Gosh darn it. Also, things in here, zombie. Hence, the comment about amulets. But hey, oh goodness me, bio. No, stop. What? I was not worried about this. Oh my goodness. Well, at least they drop holy water. Oh my gosh. All right. Um. That? Let's use some of these. Uh, holy water. Luckily they drop holy water. Well, this is gonna go well. Um, alright. I have to remember my way through here. It's been a little while. Um, blitz, because again, everything weak to fire. And that thing definitely lived. Water. What is up here? Cool. And water. I can't hit the switch again. Okay. Be that way. Fire! 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 Let's just flash. Um, just do that. Just auto battle it on. Wow. 
My English is so good right now. What am I even saying? I don't know! Hey, she learned bio. She's not done with cattle bleepers. Um, I believe that is a Jinja helm. Cool. Mm, excuse me. What was on the smell door? That is on the smell door. Okay. And we have these guys. Sam Delio and. Yeah. Zombie! Hence the amulets with the really useful hair. Ow! My face! Well, at least I'm flashing so they should die here. Ow. They are not very nice. Why do they keep doing it on Saban? What the heck, man? It's not fair. Crystal male? Regal gown. Go up here. Pop that switch to get reveal of that door. Uh, I don't think I've shown this. Have I? No. This is Marlboro. If you let Marlboro live for two turns, it'll use bad breath. You don't want to be bad breath. It's bad. Hence the name. Bad breath. So bad. Breath mints will not work on it. Anyways, there is a little secret path right back here with a growth egg! Handy. So what the growth egg does is just doubles the experience gained on that character. Pretty handy if you're wanting to level up fast. I keep going. Here. Two cells playing. Car something into it? Nothing appropriate comes to mind. So there's a puzzle in here. I can remember where it is. That'd be handy, and I apologize. I forgot to mute my phone. And apparently we are doing this encounter. On screen. Because I was talking right into it. Because my phone distracted me. Because something. I know what. Alright. No. Well, let's just go down the middle door here. Just for now. Go down to this area. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. There's some cards here. Erol. Zombied Saban again. He's been Rising Phoenix, my team again. Also, he needs new magic. Uh, sure, Siren sounds good. Wet. Doro. So once you've examined all four of those, if you go back this way, Mr. Turtle, go in here and re-examine this tombstone. Tombstone's blank. Cars into it. Uh, Irao, Kazoo, Doro. That's not quite right. Um, this way? The world is square. Because it's made by Squaresoft. Or, Irox C. Delro Et. I've hidden the growth egg in the side room on the base third basement level. So that's how you actually find out about the growth egg. <laughs> I just know where it is, though. That's how you're actually supposed to find out. Hey, there's a growth egg in here. Cool. Anyways. Raise the water level here. That's why I want to make sure you go down to the basement before you come this way. Because otherwise, this door will not be open. That would be bad. 
So, with the save point, let us, well, save it and do some equipment swapping. We want to put on these handy handy Gaia gears. Except on Edgar because he is a little butt and he cannot actually. With, um... Oh, perfect. Okay, so Edgar is just gonna have to be without. So if you can, you do want to float him. But I don't actually have float learned. So let's go up here and monster the box. Oh my goodness. So this is why you want the Gaia Gears. This is the Angular Welk. Um Nothing really noted for this guy. Except you do not want to attack the shell, much like you did not want to attack the shell. Oh wait, it's so weak to fire. You did not want to attack the shell of Welk or Yimmer way back in the day. Yeah, don't use Thunder. That was the dumb. Because why use fire in here? But yeah, do not attack the shell. Like I'm about to do. This is gonna hurt. Ow! Made it to nine. Made it to nine. Made it to eight. Yay, healing! <laughs> so we're back to this. Waiting for him to come out of the shell. And keeping Edgar alive because he doesn't have float. This is really why Gaia Gears are helpful. And float! Because always float. Um, I guess I have to like beat up a shell or something? Maybe I do. Let's speed up a shell a bit. Oh yeah, Gigavolt. Ow. Yeah, don't be up a shell. Never mind. Abort. Abort. Okay. <laughs> Abort the plan of beating up a shell. Anyone have Kira? You do. Heal yourself. Darn counter attack, man. Oh no! Celeste! Ow. <sighs> Just Fira. another round. Also, he did not use Magnitude 8 that time. Oh, there he goes. Bye! So, Tangler Wilk. Mini boss sort of thing, I suppose. And we get Dragon Claws for that effort. Woo! Let's go heal now with a tent! Just tenting in a tomb. That's not very smart. I don't know. I've never seen a tomb like this, though. Kinda... funky. Anyways, let's get back to actual equipment here. So he finally gets new equipment because of that. So now those burning claws for quite some time. And we also get a man-eater! So that's cool. Anyways, head right up this way. And... I need to do a check. Celeste? Gosh darn it. So this next boss, you want to make sure you do not have a level as a multiple of the last digit of your gill, and Celeste has a multiple of the last digit of my gill. Well, it's just one. We'll be fine. Here lies Daryl. Or Daryl, I guess. Daryl. Hey, you'll soon find out why you should not do this. Ow. It's not that painful, really. But, you know, 
Everything's weak to fire in here, so we're, we're still doing this. Also, I think he's weak to holy, so that's useful. Actually, that might be feather now that I think about it. Burn, burn, burn! So you can kill this thing by draining all of its MP. It has like 1500 MP. You really feel like it, but I don't really feel like it. Holy. Now, that actually really hurts. Wow. You have my only Kira, so amazing Edgar Kiras. There we go. So you can kind of like just really weaken this guy by. Oh, I guess Rising Phoenix is better. By doing um, Runic. And Kira is a counter thing he does when he is low on HP. I'm gonna have her go into Runic mode. Sure, we'll do that. Because it doesn't even work. Um, Rising Phoenix, Tools Drill. As per always, with Chainsaw, you don't want to use some bosses. It's just not good enough. Holy ow. Oh, sure, now, now you're not using magic, right? When I'm like. Hey, let's runic. Absolute zero, which doesn't give me a lot to play. This is fun. Cancel out her runic by doing that, which means I can go back to doing this. Oh, sure! You little jerk. Now you do it. There he goes. So that's Dolhan. I made it a little more difficult than I needed to because I was like, eh, Celeste will be fine. I think she was fine. It was everyone else who was having issues. Yeah, it's time to learn to and sleep. Cool. Let's go through that door that just opened. The suspense. And me wondering if my game had crashed. <laughs> Being here brings back all kinds of memories. Oh, hey. This next test flight could be dangerous. What are you trying to prove by pushing your ship to its limits? It's pointless. Watch your step. If the worst should happen, take care of the Falcon for me. You can't be serious. When I take the Falcon for me, it'll be because I left you a mile behind in the race. Till then, I'm not letting you out of my sight. Ha! Good luck with that. Whee! Everything looks happy! Happy! Aw, oh, I miss this world. Everything's so nice and green and the water isn't cranberry juice. Ah, uh, good times. Good, good times. Ah, there's really nothing like flying. How long you plan on hanging back there? Are you going to try to pass me? Or are you trying to trance by my lovely behind? Ha! She tricked you! You know, you'd think they would have done something about two giant airships just racing across the skies. Like, wasn't the Empire all like, wah! We have control. <laughs> Incredible. Alright, it's time to get serious. I'm gonna break the records. I'll fly past the clouds and see the stars closer than anyone ever has before. Be back by sunset. I'll be waiting for you on our hill. Wow. 
Well, he's on the hill. Or a hill, anyway. Things are looking a little gloomy, though. I guess it is sunset. So they must have had walkie-talkies or some sort of communicator. Why don't we have something like that? It was a year later when I found the wreck of the falcon in the distant valley. Restore the ship and then put it to rest down here. Amazing it did destroy it, you know, when the world ended. So this is the Falcon. Like, I would have thought all this stuff would be destroyed. I can't very well be the world's fastest pilot if I can't even fly. I need your help. Falcon. Like, seriously. But, out we go! Blah, the water rushing past us, and we're all drowned now. Splat! We're all drowned. With this, I think we might just have- we just might have a chance! Now we'll be able to go get up to the top of Kefka's tower! If we land up there, we should be able to get inside to launch our assault. And we'll be able to look for the rest of our friends. Right, first things first. I'm finally starting to feel like we have some hope. Speaking of which, I have not been checking the help messages. Well, I think they're pretty much the same. A bird, could it be? Hmm, what about that bird? Sensor, follow that pigeon! Why? I'm not sure, but something inside me tells me it'll lead us to our friends. If you say so, Celeste. If you say so. We fly any slower. But hey, we have an airship! Woohoo! Happy times! But now we have an airship, I'm going to go ahead and save it first. Also, change him off the fender. Sure. Okay, so it sounds good. And. Got one more thing I want to take care of in this episode, real quick. I want to go visit Terra again. So let's head her way. So yeah, airship means the world is ours now. We can go wherever we want, including to go face down Kefka. But I think we want our friends before we go to face down Kefka. Sounds good to me. I just saved it. Welcome back to Mobiliz. I am going to go visit the relic shop, almost the runic shop, before I go do anything else here. Just because I'm damaged. I wasn't doing so well after that Dolahan fight. So, before I go any further, I am going to toss on some Reflect Rings. This may make things a little interesting, but I'm gonna go for it. Reflect Ring. Reflect ring. And reflect ring. Alright. I said I have to leave the sprint shoes on. In fact, I'm gonna take off those sprint shoes and give her an earring instead. That will make a lot more sense. You're back! Hi, Tara! Catherine's gonna have a- gonna be having a baby! I'm so happy I'm gonna have a child. Are you a teenager? Oh, I'm not gonna judge. When I told Juan, he turned cold all of a sudden. Catherine. I'm sorry, I just don't- didn't know how to handle all this. Well, I mean... Someone needs to teach you about the birds and the bees. I feel like an idiot, but everything's okay now, so please come back home with me. <gasps> oh no! Ah, I'm almost headed this way! Ah! Run! Or 
walk. Oh no! Ah. All right, we got this this time. We'll be ours. And suddenly, this music. All right, so bio, because I actually have bio now. Uh, he has poison. Uh, in that case, drill. Bio. Bio. So yeah, this is the bio fest. Because he is weak to bio. And handy. Ow. Oh, that wasn't really actually ow. I thought it was gonna be ow, but it was not. Bio. I think I could just auto battle this. So I have to keep inputting stuff. A Baba Breath! Anchor, no! Sensor, no! Oh no! We're doomed! Terra! Terra? Bubblegum! And we're back with Terra this time, except she doesn't really have anything on. But she is trance. She is permanently trance for this battle. She cannot leave trance. In fact, if she dies, it's the only way you can see her dead trance sprite. Anyways, you know the drill. Bio. Oh, ho, ho, that damage. So some fun facts while I'm here doing this. Oh. Um, after this battle, we will be getting Terra. If that wasn't pretty obvious, we will be getting Terra after this fight. And her trance will now last longer. Before this, it didn't last as long, but after this battle, I guess because something happened here, she will be able to stay in trance for a longer period of time. Which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm still rarely going to use trance, but it's cool to know. Oh, how I wish I could put the reflect ring on her. <laughs> this is seriously just bio. Bio, 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 bio. He is so weak to bio. But, hey, he's dead. <laughs> that is auto battle the boss on this version. <laughs> Set bio and run with it. It's all the kids! And of course her sprite is not pregnant. It's Tara! Oh no! Scary! It's another monster! It's scary! I'm afraid! Poor Tara! You have a brave little girl! Brave little girl! Mama, it's you, isn't it? I can tell. Huh? Mama? Tara? Mama! Tara! I... I'll fight. I think I finally understand the feeling that's been growing inside me. It must be. Love. I have to fight to protect the people I loved and to make the world a safe place for new lives. Dwan, keep Catherine and your baby safe. Wait, isn't this how we make babies with sparklies? Tara? Tara, stop making babies on Saban's head! Children, Mama has to go away for a while to make the world a safer place for you to live. But I promise I'll be back as soon as I can. Seriously, stop making babies on Saban's head! That is not how it works! Mama, I'm not gonna cry! Me neither! I'll be good, so I'll come back soon! Don't forget your promise! Thank you. You'll help me understand what it means to love. I'll fight. I'll make this world a place where life can flourish and children can grow up in peace. Seriously, stop making babies on Saban's head. And now we have this party. 
And we have Elias Sprint shoes. Hey, at least she- Oh, I guess they just gave her optimal gear. I'm just gonna give her- Oh, this is a slow, slow way. Sprint shoes for now. Run up to the relic shop because- Uh, Celeste? Celeste, you're on top of the bed. Celeste? Uh, 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 there's something odd happening here. Game? Game, what are you doing? Game? Game? Um, so, uh, there seems to be a weird issue right here. I don't know what it is, but there's, like, a graphical issue that makes you be able to walk on top of stuff, like so. There's still collision boxes with the dog, but the trees, the ho the roofs, they don't exist. I'm pretty sure this is going to persist until I reboot the game. So it will be absolutely hilarious for this to continue. Can I save it before I move anywhere? Just because I like saving. Save! be absolutely hilarious for this to continue, but uh, I don't really fancy it continuing. I am going to head right over here, and... You know what? You know what? Real quick! Real quick. While I've got this party with me, we've got someone to pick up here. I hope, anyway. Well, we hope that there is someone to pick up here. Hopefully it doesn't take me an hour, knowing my luck. Well, isn't of course the first try. <sighs> hey, gal! Welcome back! So yeah, since I had three people, I was gonna be stopping here anyway, so I'm like, you know what, I've got time. Let's pick up gal! I'm gal! Gal, your friend! Friend, I join you again. Yay, we've got Gal. And one last thing I just thought of. I just looked, checked my notes again. I forgot to mention during Hambaba, but when you get to the second fight there, when you have Terra, he didn't actually be slept. For some reason, he loses his invulner his. He gains his susceptibility to sleep. I don't think I had anyone with, who could sleep with me. But, just an interesting thing to know that he can actually be slept in that second fight. Anyways, now that I've picked up Gal, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So, thank you all for watching. In the next episode, I saw a cave nearby. I want to go investigate it after I fix my party. but Because I don't really want to run with Terra and Gal. And I want to change who I have to people I, who need more magic than these guys. Anyways, yeah, thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we will go down to that little, yep, yeah, white dot that's below me. And, yeah. So, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. If like to help support the channel, be sure to go head on over to my Patreon, and maybe consider pledging it. Every little bit helps, even a dollar. So, if you like what you see, then be sure to go do that. I am doing this LP to help bring awareness to my Patreon, so there you go. And if you'd like to find me on social media, I am on Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. So, again, thank you all for watching. And until next time, this is Rinium T, signing out.